Yes, sir. It's your boy. That's the goat. That's with the bag. You see me. That's with the hoodie. Less mamba. Say less. And I'm back with another video, family. And on this video, like the last video. If you ain't seen the last video, check out the last video because this is a part two. And this one is for the ladies. Things women need to stop doing in 2020, baby. Da 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 da. Stop being hoes. Rule number one. First thing you need to do, 2020, stop being a hoe. Stop fucking everybody. Stop sucking everybody. Stop putting yourself out there like that. That's a bad look, sweetheart. You look foolish. You look like the damn fool. Need help. Take some pride. Start loving yourself because these streets don't love you. Stop belonging to the streets. It's 2020, man. Simple. Things women need to stop doing in 2020. Number two is stop apologizing all the time. It ain't always your fault. I know you you want to take, you know, responsibility, but don't take responsibility if you're not responsible for the action. It's not your fault. Simple. Stop apologizing. Three on my list of things women need to stop doing in 2020. Number three is stop body snorkeling out loud. Keep that, all that nonsense in your head because men don't want to hear it. We don't want to hear it at all. Your friends don't want to hear it. Don't nobody want to hear that. So it's pointless to even say to bring it out into the air. You make yourself look like a fool. You make yourself un unattractive. You, there's no point for that. It's really simple. <laughs> it's simple. Don't nobody want to hear that. Keep it in your head because it's no need for that. The most, this is probably the most important thing. All the other three was important, but I gave y'all a, a little quick little bling bang bang with it. But this one, probably the most, most important one. So if you get anything from this video, listen to this one. Number four, women, stop comparing yourself to other women and stop judging other women. Listen again, I'm gonna say it again. Stop comparing yourself to other women. Stop judging other women. Let them be you. I mean, <laughs> let them be them and you be you. Let them do what they want to do and you do what you want to do. Take care of yourself. Focus on yourself. Let them go out there and beat thoughts and fuck everybody and do all that nonsense. And you focus on yourself and find some values in yourself. You feel me? And stop judging other women because they, you know, they want to make the right decision. And you trying to steer them in the wrong direction, <laughs> wrong direction. That ain't a good look. It's, you tearing other women down. That's all. Put this all in. Stop tearing other women down, too. Because it's a lot of strong women out here. And y'all really just hate on each other all day. And it's really, it's really disgusting. It's really disgusting. I'm going to put it like that. Short and simple. Show love to other women. And stop showing fake love. Because a lot of you are so fake. Women so fake to other women. And it's ridiculous. So y'all need to find a way to be genuine women to other women. You feel me? Find, be genuine more to other women. Because y'all are so fake and it's ridiculous. So number five my list of things women need to stop doing in 2020 and this one is important stop holding on to everything that has happened in your life it's time to let go and grow start growing your flower regrow your flower cut the uh string loose and you feel me move on so women y'all known to hold on to everything Y'all hold on to grudges. Y'all hold on to hate. Y'all hold on to past relationships from five years ago. Y'all hold on from uh, events that the girl niggas do to you did when you was three years old. So now you hated her your whole life and y'all are 30 now. Like, come on now. Stop holding on to everything. Stop. 
it's just time to let go. Let go. Move on. Uh, find you something new. Come become at peace with the situation and move on. Whether it was your fault or not, just let it go and move on. Because women, y'all really petty. Y'all really petty. Y'all do a lot of petty things, and it's ridiculous. It's like <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Like I don't know how. I don't know, but women, y'all is ridiculous, and y'all need to start letting go of y'all hatred for each other and for I don't even know what why why y'all be beefing so hard. <laughs> I don't even know why y'all be beefing so hard, but y'all need to stop holding on to y'all hatred for each other, y'all beef for each other, uh, y'all hatred for y'all ex. Just let it go, let it go, and move on. Six, number six on my th list of things. Women need to stop doing it in 2020. This is a big one because a lot of y'all are bots and y'all need to get over this. Stop being afraid of being alone. Stop accepting the fake love you get from relationship to relationship to fitting in with all these fake crowds of friends. Friends, the fake crowds of friends that you call friends. That ain't really your friends, because as soon as you leave, they're going to run their mouth talking about everything you just told them. And that's how the word is spread. Stop trying to fit in with the crowd. Stop being afraid of being alone. It's okay to be alone. That's when you find out your true self. That's when you become the most powerful woman. You already got power. You get comfortable being alone, you're going to become immortal. Simple. Get comfortable being alone. Stop fitting in with the crowd because the fake love is real. And women run their mouths like nobody else. They gonna tell Sally, Amy, Julie, and Nicole all what you just told them. So, and that's and imagine who these four gonna tell. They gonna tell four more. And just like that, word spread. And stop seeking for fake love and men that don't even love you. They just using you because you don't care for yourself. You don't love yourself enough to be okay with being alone. And they just using you because you don't, you just okay with that. So find some peace inside yourself. Girl. Bam, seven, 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 seven. All right, so this go for, all right. So number seven. Number seven, this just go for any girl. Please, when you talking, please find a different word to use when you're describing situations than like. You don't have to say like in every sentence. Like that's like the most like most annoying thing ever. Like why why do you have to say like in like every sentence? Like I don't even get why like why do you even do that? Like you don't have to say like, like think of something like a better word to say than like, please. That make the conversation like, <laughs> oh, now I'm stuck saying it. That make the conversation dry and people don't, well, I, and I know other men feel this way, don't like to entertain you when you're saying like after everything. Like this, like that, like, 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 I was like, and he was like, and we were like, and it was like, and it was like, like, and she like, oh my God, no, I don't want to hear that. Find you a new word, switch it up, learn, read the dictionary, go to the dictionary and find you a couple new words to say other than like, please. Hey, number eight on my list of things women need to stop doing in 2020 is please, 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 please. Y'all can use them now. I'm, I ain't saying y'all can't use them. I'm just saying, please stop overusing filters. Please stop overusing filters. I say this because nobody want to look at you in the same filters 27 different times 30 days of the week, 27 months in a year. <laughs> ah, you get what I'm saying, right? 
I just don't want to see your picture. Well, I don't want to see you in the same filter OD like that. Like, bro, that's way too. Nobody want to see that. That's too much. Simple. Simple. Switch it up. You feel me? Just find you a new mojo because we don't like seeing the same. You in the same filter. Every day. Every week. Every month. Come on now. Help us help you. Simple. <laughs> Simple. Uh, straight like that. That's it, women. I hope you took notes. I hope you take this into accountability. And I hope you go out there and boss up on them 2020. Simple. Simple. It's 2020, ladies. Boss up on them. Separate yourself. Because there's a lot of these women walking out there with their head cut off like a chicken with their head cut off. They don't know what they doing. They bots. Come on, women. Boss up. 2020, boss up. Become the real, strong, independent woman you are and you know you could be. Simple. Straight like that. It's your boy. Say less. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time. Oh, <laughs>